down, and only in four days, all because of this one they call Jesus. You wouldn't believe it. The chaos of the celebration came as he rode in through the city gates. People were waving their palms, and he rode in on a donkey. Imagine that. He was just all present, and they were all there watching. They were shouting with joy. They were waving the palms. It was a real hero's welcome, but not tonight. Tonight, he has been arrested, arrested by the guards, and hauled off for a trial that will be held in the darkness of night. I tell you, the whole city has just gone mad. It's bizarre. Those same palms that were waved in celebration are now scattered along the road, and people are just trampling and crushing them beneath their feet, running, running. And those are the same that are condemning him. Do you hear that? It's the drumbeat of the hysteria pounding and pounding. Do you hear that? It's the sound of footsteps running and fleeing, fleeing so that they won't have to be talked to. They won't have to let anyone know that they knew Jesus. Where are all his supporters? Where are the multitudes now? Where are those that were waving the palms just four days ago, singing, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed be the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Where are they now? There was one there, and I saw him, and I knew that he was one with Jesus. But when I asked him, he denied it. And I heard him deny it to others three times. He even said he didn't know the man. His name was Peter. How do I know? Because I became a follower of Jesus after his resurrection. And my faith grew as I learned through the stories and the testimonies of those who knew and loved him. And one of them was Peter. So did Peter fail our Lord? Maybe in that moment where flesh met fear, but not in the overall picture of his faith and his spirit. You see, Peter would also die for our Lord. He would take on the same death that Jesus did, crucifixion. The difference? Peter told those that were condemning him, that he wasn't worthy of being hung on the cross right side up like Jesus, but rather hung upside down. And that's 